our virtual community and our community that is here in the Mark Morris Dance Center space. Thank you for being with us to celebrate the 2022 Summer Leadership Institute culminating performance. During our Summer Leadership Institute, which is 10 days, today is the ninth day, we begin by grounding ourselves in the principles of entering, building, and exiting community. And as simple as a part of this learning are dancers, actors, educators, organizers, administrators, production folk who are with us on this journey of embodying what does it mean to question are we democracy? So we began with the principles of entering, building, and exiting community. What does it mean to look at those values of how we are in community together? And then we go to our work with our longtime per partner, People's Institute for Survival and Beyond, PSAB. <laughs> and the workshop is Understanding and Undoing Racism slash community organizing. And we're looking at systemic analysis of well, how democracy works and who is invited and who is disinvited, who is supported and who is not supported, who becomes uh, the major beneficiaries and who become the victims, really, of the system and how we can make it better by understanding its manifestations and how they show up in us. Then we look at organizing, and we had two amazing people, Karen Atlas and Dr. Kimberly Richards, who have been longtime organizers, <laughs> to talk about their journey and their road as we look at this question, are we democracy? We are here at the Mark Morris Dance Center, and we are on the unceded land of the Lenape people. We understand the resistance, the sacrifice, the struggle that our, our indigenous brothers and sisters have gone through, those whose labor were forced, the African people who were here and their labor was forced, we bring all of that, all of that learning, all of that history into our dance, our songs, our text, so that we integrate all of this knowledge in creative expression as a way to share and internalize what we know. And that's what we're sharing with you today, is the journey we've been on creatively in these last nine days for the culminating performance of the 2022 Summer Leadership Institute performance. Thank you for being with us. This is the democracy story. Once upon a time, not too long ago, the people thought democracy was dead, and they began to mourn. Oh, Epa, Epa, Oya, we call on you, Oya, mother of nine, Oya, we call on you to stand in this marketplace, to stand in this marketplace at the gate of the cemetery, oh yeah, mother of nine. We ask that you change our lives, oh yeah. We ask that you change our lives, young side. Mother of storms, of violent winds, of deathly tornadoes. We ask for your guidance, Pia, in death and rebirth. Ashe, 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 Great to 
we were just getting to know you. But it's like everything in this life, even democracy has the end. So it is on this day that we say to you, democracy, fly, fly away to that great place in the sky. And one day, we hope to see you again. But for now, we say thank you.
a little behind. A natural turnover, a sharing of the earth. The grass, an invasive dominant of white picket fences, and the founding of the devil's eyes colored red, white, and blue. For the privilege of ignorance strips the soil of its life, its nutrients. But let the justice burn like a righteous fire, a natural tilling of the soil. Are we democracy? Not yet. Working towards it. Backs curved, fists closed, then open. Breathing hands, open to possibility. a discipline, practicing, visioning, looking to what we could be if we let go of what has only caused harm. <laughs> Stolen lives, broken hearts, depleted souls, I want us to fulfill our promise. But first, repair. You got a right, you got a right. You got a right, you got a right. 
right to the tree of life. Oh, you got a right to the tree of life. You got a right to the tree of life. You got a right to the tree of life. I hope these people show up. I've been calling them around. Nobody already. Democrats meet, right? And I bought the premium package because I'm picky and I only want the good stuff. And I made sure in my profile to put that I wanted opportunity, resources, something a little more equitable. So I'm not really understanding it. So all of y'all talking about the same democracy? Democracy worked down at the club. The club with all the long lines. Uh, I, I have something to admit. Uh, in 2008, I thought I was in love with democracy. I mean, I was really, really full of hope. Thought it was the one. We were engaged. Whoa. But uh, after the honeymoon, all of so-called democracies so-called friends that they met at electoral college started showing up at the house, refusing to leave, like, like Oleg Arky and uh, Phil E. Buster. No, 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 no. I think you all have it wrong. I, you must be talking about something else because I've been getting to know democracy pretty well over the last couple of years, virtually. And we have our first date by mail in August. August. Uh, so <clears throat> I actually went to college with this person that has been saying his, their name is democracy. Uh, I went to the electrical, electrical college. Uh, and I just want to say that, for one, I did not meet them at the club or online, uh, but also I don't care. I don't care really that much what their name is, as long as I'm getting what I need, and I am the resources. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, because my democracy can't be your democracy. We talking about the democracy with the profile picture, with the um, big old suburban and the Jesus piece, and he be flashing all them dollars and stuff. I've been messing with democracy since before the internet, before profiling. In fact, we have two children together. Whoa. And although we don't have a lot of exchanges as of late, he shows up in my bank account. Weekly. You mean you get paid? I get paid weekly. He gets paid by democracy. Well, good for you, gal, because I have been <laughs> investing in oh. democracy for many, many years. Oh. And I'm afraid this has taken a toll. I believed in democracy. Democracy just broke my heart. Uh -uh. I'm sorry about your heart. I'm going to let you finish. But hold on. We didn't clarify yet. Wait a minute. We all talking about the same democracy? Y'all, are we democracy? I don't know, but let's go to the club and find out. Let's go.
just want to stop and take stock of who I am. Don't feel like talking. No time for laughing. Just let me be still so my emotions can fill my heart. Everyone thinks that I am happy-go-lucky if they only knew the heaviness of my heart and mine taught to be strong so I could carry all burdens knowing the truth I'm not that strong, it's the Lord above. I'm tired, I'm so winded. Who cares for me when I am down and my heart cries? Please let me be. Don't say I'm weak or too sensitive. Just take my hand and love me the way I am. Just take my hand and love me how I am now. Please take my hand and love me. starting to realize they had the power in their hands, in their hearts, in their bodies, in their minds, and they remembered the legacy of people like Harriet Tubman, Fannie Lou Hamer. They remembered the power of the voice.
like the world's against me, or loving me, or shoving me down the road that I've been before, but it externally warns and noiselessly teaches the ones ahead of the music, the dance, the food, the struggles to enhance the people. This thing is in me, and I stand swaying like the trees bobbing in the breeze, and it tells my story for centuries. It's humanity. It's in me. Oh, oh yeah, it's poetry.
much in my black life mm -hmm. that goes unsaid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet, it speaks a lot. Mm -hmm. The mask that I wear mm -hmm. cannot hide the evidence mm -hmm. of physical, mental, and sexual violence that my black body has become accustomed to. The many attempts at bleaching my dark black skin and hiding my full thickness and trying to be anything but black have all failed. You can't deny your blackness. The things that go unsaid speak the loudest. So that is why I choose to sing. To sing a song of redemption for every time I let racism lead me to doubt myself and my people. To sing a song of forgiveness for every time I believe the lies of white supremacy that said to me, you are not beautiful, you are not smart, you are unworthy. To sing a song of joy and bliss because I am relearning how to love myself and my people. Ain't nobody gonna take my job. To sing a song of radical freedom because that is where the beyond dwells. And it is in the beyond where our liberation springs eternal. The things that have spoken over me that have gone unsaid will not speak over me because I will sing.
Frederick Douglass, Ida B. Wells, Fannie Lou Hamer, Ella Jo Baker, Rosa Parks, Miles Horton, James Cheney, Michael Schwerner, Andrew Goodman, Medgar Evers, Viola Liuzzo, Pearl Primus, Catherine Dunham, Dr. Doris Derby, John O'Neill, Bob Moses, Betty Shabazz, Malcolm X, John Lewis, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We give thanks. We give thanks. We give thanks. Mid-Atlantic 
the waters, but we're still in the U.S. You can actually drive, but we're talking about Alaska. Going further across the water, you can't drive this one, the Netherlands and Santo Domingo. Together, 